Hello and welcome. Who am I? <laughs> oh my gosh. It has been so long and I am so sorry. Um, I got totally immersed in a work project. I was doing a yearbook for my company and phone directory and I did portraits of hundreds of people and I edited their portraits. I learned so much about that, but now I have sent the base draft to the publishing part and it's over, it's over. So it's been six weeks. Oh my gosh. This is the longest I've gone and you have been so cool. I've been receiving emails. I've been receiving uh, messages. I've, I've seen your notes and <laughs> thank you so much. It's so nice of you. Um, everything's fine. I just had tons of work and I could not focus on anything but this until it was done and it was way more work and way more time than I ever imagined. So I'm back and I missed my October faves and flops time frame so we're kind of just doing faves and flops for the last month and a half. Um, I was going to do a Sephora haul and an Ulta haul because they both had sales around the same time and I, I forgot what I bought. <laughs> it's been so long. So I have so many faves and flops I have divided it into two videos. This video is all face products, skincare stuff, and lipstick and lip stuff. And then the next video will be all my eye stuff, brow stuff, and gadgets and gizmos and things like that. So let's start because it's been so long I just I forgot how to do this. And it's so good to see you again. And uh, thanks again to all of you who did write to me and Facebook me and message and everything else. And uh, it was really kind of you. Okay. Let's start with some face stuff. And uh, some of the Christmas holiday slash uh, limited edition stuff has been released by some of the companies. And um, I hadn't tried brushes from Too Faced before. And I thought it would be a great time to try it because this is a set of five brushes with a little pouch to hold them and I actually did take them with me to um, Newport recently. I went on vacation there. Um, I dream in makeup is what the bag says and you get five and these are made with what they call teddy bear hair which is uh, uh, artificial synthetic fibers. And I have been using this all month, and in fact, I washed them this morning. They're surviving really well. Um, minimal shedding, the shape stayed pretty well. I think I would have liked more of a shader brush in this group. I think that it's uh, really cute, though, you know, the, the little pink and gold. Um, nice blush brush, nice powder brush. Uh, the eye brushes worked really well. And then I use this for liner. You can also use this for brows, but I like something a little thinner for brows. And I think I, I like this um, for eye lining better, just lining with shadow. So the set was pretty good. I think it's around 30 something dollars. Not sure. I got several things from Too Faced and some things did not make the approval rating. <laughs> some of them did. This next thing was a trio set that was a special on QVC and somebody had said many years ago, whatever, that Face Atelier had the best foundation ever. Um, and then they had this liquid powder that came with it and this brush. And I tell you, the brush is fabulous. The brush I like better than any of the other stuff. Um, it's a duo fiber so it's thinner fibers on the top so you can um, kind of spackle or you can you know smear it on really fast it washes well in fact this one is still wet because I used it today but I use this probably two or three times a week I always wash my brushes right after I use them so um, it's held up really well this is the face atelier and it is brush number 88 this is the face atelier brush I wish I had as many nice things to say about the rest of this stuff. The um, foundation, very expensive and very hard to tell what color you're supposed to be. In uh, this particular one, um, I am number two, ivory, and it was slightly light for me. And it came exploded in the cap, 
so it was loose. I don't know how anybody else's came, but sometimes when I say something about that, other people say that you know it happened to them as well. Uh, there's good coverage here. It's like a medium coverage, but it just if you have any texture on your face, if you have dry skin, uh, wrinkles, it went right into the wrinkles. It accentuated the pores. It you know clung to the edges of the dry patches. It was awful. So I know that I think. Wayne Goss loves this one and he said it's like the greatest, one of the greatest foundations in the world. It is not. It is not for me anyway and anybody else in my situation where I've got the texture, the wrinkles, the dry skin, uh, face atelier is a fail. Now this stuff intrigued me. It came in the set. I wouldn't have ordered it normally but it came in the set and the set was a good deal for the three pieces. Um, and it's, I believe they still have it on QVC, but I wouldn't recommend getting it. Uh, this is the liquid powder, <laughs> and this is really freaky. Um, God, it feels so good to be back on, on YouTube again. Okay, this is liquid powder spray. You shake it up, and you spray it on. <laughs> oh, it's like spraying sand on yourself. It feels like sand. And it, it's supposed to dry down to a powder, but it feels so weird spraying it. All I can think of is like a sand blower or something. It just feels like sand coming out. <laughs> just, I didn't see the benefits of this at all, at all. I, I can't recommend it. I just, for the, it's funny. I think that's where it ends. That's where my entertainment factor ends with this one. It did not do anything functional. For me, um, the novelty of it was cool. I like the concept of it, but uh, liquid powder, think about that. <laughs> what could it be? So it starts off as sand, and it's a sand blast uh, to the face, and it does dry down after about a minute or so. Um, I had to kind of sponge it in afterwards, though. It, it left little dots all over my face, and they were moisture dots. They weren't sand dots, but moisture dots. So the face atelier. Um, liquid powder was a fail. There's a new brand in um, CBS and it's called Joa, like Noah with a J, Joa. So I want to try the foundation and the BB cream because it's K Beauty, which is Korean beauty, and they really have their thing together with face products. So I thought I would try one of each. Um, the Truly Yours uh, Natural Finish Foundation Drop. Not drops, but drop. Um, it that's a drop. <laughs> that's your drop. It's a little light for me, and whenever I go light, for some reason, it really makes me look patchy and dry and cracked. I didn't like it at all. Uh, there's a light scent to it. I know that Korean Beauty is supposed to be good for you. I know that they have like mind-blowing ingredients in here and there are some really nice healthy kind of ingredients in there but it didn't do anything for me um, and the light color just made me look patchy and pale but uh, color aside I didn't like the formulation at all and like the the atelier face atelier it clung to dry patches went into the wrinkles and accentuated pores this was especially bad for pores large pores so uh, definitely not recommending this either now the BB cream, this is the Truly Yours BB cream from Joel, Joa, Joa, and this um, spread nicely, it looked good, but it was more of something to wear underneath your makeup rather than be the makeup. It was too sheer to be any kind of makeup itself and it just seemed like an extra step for no reason. Although the price points on this were pretty reasonable at CVS, uh, I definitely would not run out and get this on purpose. There wasn't anything particularly bad about it, but it wasn't good. Like some of the other BB creams I use have coverage almost like a makeup, like my Outdoor Girl one, which I love. Um, this just didn't cut it for me. So uh, the Joa BB cream was a fail also. But there is a product, and it's coming up soon, that I do like from this brand, and I'll talk about it a little later. From um, Sephora. This is the little Becca, and this is, I, I swatched this in the store and I really liked it. These are those, 
I mean, I know we all like the opal highlighter from them, and I love the little spaceship. They're so cute. Nee, 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 nee. Yeah. Um, it has the mirror, and this is the vanilla color of the highlight, and I love this. I think I like it better than the opal. It's so pretty. It's very natural looking. It's not one of those shiny, chromey things. Um, and it comes in this little box, and again, this is a little mini from Sephora. I love the Derma Blend uh, Creator Drops. It's my favorite foundation right now. So when Derma Blend came out with the Quick Fix Concealer, I couldn't wait. I thought, oh, I love the foundation. I gotta try the concealer. So you know where I'm going with this conversation, right? <laughs> yes. Oh man. Um, it's a stick, so it is a quick fix, and I brought it with me to Newport to to have, you know, in the hotel, so I could just do a quick fix. It comes up almost like a little lipstick, and you can um, just brush it in there. And it goes immediately into any of the little lines underneath your eye. And when you set it with powder, um, it just looks chalky, cakey, deserty. Uh, not good. Not good. I'm so disappointed because the foundation is so nice. I had thought that this would be nice as well. And unfortunately, Derma Blend Quick Fix Concealer is not good if you have a lot of under eye texture because it will just accentuate that and it did not hold well. As it started to fade, I had a lot of polka dots under there and that's just too sad, too sad. I want to talk about this because this is kind of a hyped up product. This is a set uh, of two things. My husband had seen this, he's, he's retired so he does watch TV every now and then and he, he watched Robin Robbins, she's on a TV uh, show. I think she's an anchor on a TV news thing or whatever talk show. Um, she left her job because she is involved with this company called Bella Radiance. And Bella Radiance is uh, skincare, anti-aging skincare, and it's supposed to be very um, moisturizing and it's supposed to really transform your skin and they had before and after pictures of women who had tired looking icky skin and then after she they put this stuff on their skin looked perfect so my husband surprised me by buying one of the eye cream and one of the moisturizer for the face and I religiously tried this for five weeks five weeks every day every night I tried it um, the eye cream seemed to instantly hydrate under my eyes um, and my eyes look really good they weren't puffy look really good and then I thought well I'll try it around here where my St. Bernard lines are I'll try that and immediately had a reaction my my face went red down here I had a reaction to it it didn't have that same reaction under my eyes so that was really odd so I stopped using it on the St. Bernard lines but using it under my eyes seemed to really work well um, and then the face cream, I'm almost out of it. Let's see. Um, you're supposed to take a dime-sized dollop and spread it all over your face after you've washed your face. And I feel like I've wasted this now. <laughs> put it on my hands. <laughs> Always put your skincare on your hands afterwards. Um, it instantly felt like it hydrated my skin and my skin looks so moisturized and pretty and I, I waited a half an hour I put my makeup on and my makeup seemed to go on really well and I thought this is great so five weeks later I'm looking at my skin to see what this stuff has done and it has not done anything and on top of it it seems like my skin is drier than it ever has been and I don't know if that's this that didn't make it better or made it worse or if it's the fact that it's cold now and we just had snow and we actually had to have the heat on. So the moisture was sapped out of the air with the heating. So I can't recommend Bella Radiance, but the worst part was is they say, well, you know, pay for shipping and you could try it out, you know, uh, risk-free. And my husband paid for the shipping and I, we got the two things and I tried it and I kind of liked it. 
And then a month later, he got a bill. He got his American Express card pinged him and said, do you approve this charge? And he went, no. And they wanted $80 for another set. And he had paid for just the shipping before, but they used his credit card to charge the 80 bucks for an auto reship. So that's part of it. So be careful with, if you do decide to try this stuff, be careful with that because you do sign off that um, after a month you agree to have a reshipment every month. Now, it, I think it takes about six weeks to go through these and actually a little bit longer to go through this one. So um, I wouldn't want a monthly reship anyway on this, but um, I can't say it was, was anything special. I thought initially it was great because of the way it initially feels on your skin, but long term now, and I think five weeks is enough time to, to really test something out as far as, you know, if it's helping improve my skin. And this did not, so it didn't really do anything. So save your money, save your money, girls. I've seen mixed reviews on this, and I try. I used to always try to be the first kid on the block to have something, and I lost that ability this past month. Uh, Revlon's Candid. It's a foundation. Um, I have shade 130 here. This one was terrible. It's terrible for dry skin. It's lighter than it seems, much lighter than it seems. So whatever shade you think you are, go on up because it, see how light it is? It went much lighter than what it appears on here. So uh, I just didn't like it. And I think Revlon has some great lip products. I love their lip products and I used to love their nail polish. I don't, I don't like this candid stuff. I don't think it's for dry skin. I don't think it's for older people. So I don't know how you feel about it. I have seen people give it positive reviews. I think uh, Cassie and a few of the other gals liked this. I did not, but I have dry skin, lots of texture and um, wrinkles, and it did not work well with those things. You ready for lips? I am. <laughs> I am gonna start with this. This is the Lips To Go from Profusion, and this is part of their, wait for it, Thankful and Grateful Collection. Now, I'm on their PR list, and don't hate me for that. Don't hate me for that. I mean, it's not like I'm on the PR list for Urban Decay. Profusion makes great stuff at a very discounted price, and they are featured in Target. And I don't talk about everything that Profusion sends to me because they're hit or miss. You know, like almost every brand I talk about is hit or miss. They've got good and bad things. But this is the Lips to Go set. This is the trio. You get a, uh, a lip liner, which I will just... There's your lip liner. Very, very nice. These are all nude shades. And it's a pretty nude. It's a very warm... It's a warm nude. Very basic. Very pretty. I wore this to work. I had no problems with it. There is a coconut essence wafting from this, but it's not too irritating if you don't like that scent. There is a little bit of a coconut scent. And then this is the lip gloss. Again, you get a pretty little sheen. I'm just gonna... There is a little bit of transfer with this. I think it's a great little deal. I think none of these things are more than they're all under $10, all their profusion things. You can find them in Target. They have their own little slot in some. Uh, the one I go to also has an end cap with the newer stuff in it. Um, this is available now, and I think this is called Bear, this particular one. Very, very nice, very simple. Um, I don't have any problems with profusion, really. I think that it's great, and I think if you're on a budget, profusion is the way to go. I'm really pleased with one of the eye sets they sent me that I'll talk about later uh, in the next Lips video. to go trio. So look for that. It does come in different colors. I noticed that they had, I think, three different sets. So uh, if this isn't your, your color range, uh, they have a darker set and then they have a pinker set. So have a look in Target next time you're in there. Welcome to my channel. Hi. <laughs> okay, Jeffree Star. Um, he released his Alien collection and I initially was not attracted to the eye set. 
but I was attracted to the lippies and his lipsticks are wonderful. You have to remember to shake them up before you use them. Um, the names are always funny and they always mean something and this particular one cracked me up. This is called Jeffrey Who and I bought this for the name. It's one of the few lipsticks I've actually bought just for the name. I love the storyline behind it. Um, Kat Von D and Jeffrey Star used to be very, very close, good friends. Um, she did a lot of his tattoos. Um, for 10 years they were close friends. She had a lipstick named for him and um, anyway they had a falling out. I'm not going to go into the details and I'm not going to take sides. I'll just say they had a falling out and they're not happy with each other at all. So they, they do throw shade at each other here and there. Well, anyway, um, Kat Von D recently got married and she posted her wedding video online and somebody commented and said, I bet Jeffree Star is watching this. And she commented back, Jeffree who? And so, <laughs> in the Alien Collection, this is the lipstick called Jeffree Who. <laughs> it's a beautiful shade. I actually will, will demonstrate it for you. The packaging I don't know if you can see the packaging clearly. Let me see if I can if I can get it lit up. But it's beautiful. It's all um, sparkly and everything. This isn't the color. The color is different. So again, shake it up. And I'm just going to swatch it for you. And it's a pretty muted red. Let me just put it right here over the top of what I have. So I'm just gonna let it dry. <laughs> I'll let you look at my t-shirt instantly. I'm just gonna let it dry. Okay. This is Jeffrey Who. <laughs> I love that. I get such a kick out of him. I know that everybody's got their opinions about some of the personalities on here. Um, I would say watch the Shane Dawson series about Jeffrey before you make your final decision about how you feel about this guy. Um, I get a kick out of it and I think his lipsticks are high quality and I like them. And Once this puppy dries down, it's there for 24 hours. How do I know this? I fell asleep at the computer working on my work project. I woke up the next morning. My lips look exactly the same as they did when I put this on the morning before. So the Jeffrey Who shade, at least this one, it's phenomenal. The only sad part about liquid matte lipsticks is that after half an hour or so, they can feel a little bit dry on the lips. Um, his not so much, but yeah, you still get that. Now this other shade I was attracted to because I'm going through my nude lipstick phase. And this is called Can't Relate. Can't Relate. And this is, again, the same pretty packaging. This, you have to look at the packaging up close to see it, and I don't think you can see it too easily. Let me see. No. Okay, well, anyway. This one is kind of a nude base, completely different color, but this is more um, a pretty nude. I wore this to work several times. I love this. It's beautiful. It's just beautiful. And I think Jeffree Star has high quality lip products. Um, wouldn't hesitate to recommend any of them, but the shades are funky. You have to find a shade that works with your skin tone and your situation. Some people don't want to wear a bolder color like this. I never used to. But I do now. I do now. And thanks to you who told me I should. And I was like, I don't know. Star <laughs> flares here. And I think I might have talked about them before. These are the Sephora uh, Go Wild Bombs. They're on sale right now on the Sephora website. And they are only, I think, $8 each. I got these three colors. One is kind of more of a medium neutral shade. One's a bright coral and one's kind of a berry. Very, very pretty. They last a long time. There is a little bit of transfer with them. Look at that. Beautiful. Uh, very, very emollient. And the packaging is very green. It's a cardboard type packaging. You see these colors. 
And then this one is more of a neutral shade, but I found it looked a little darker than I thought it would on the lips. So it's actually pretty close to the other one, even though it looks much lighter in the package. I think that's the only one that it didn't seem to look like the package. So these were really nice. I think there's four or five shades of them. They're definitely uh, worth checking out. They're on the Sephora site right now on sale for $8 each. Becca put out these new um, Glow Gloss. And this is the lighter shade. I think there's a darker shade as well. Um, I wasn't as impressed with these as I wanted to be. I thought they would be... I don't know, more interesting than they are. This is the shade here. Over the top of lipstick, it's really nice. You can transform a very light nude with this. There's a slight cool tone to this. I don't know, I think it's kind of an overhyped product. I'm not sure that it was the greatest, uh, the formulation. It doesn't feel sticky on the lips, but it, your lips feel wet, if you can understand that. They just feel wet, but not sticky. So the Becca Glow Gloss in this color is Molten Mauve, or Mauve, Molten Mauve, Mauve. <laughs> One of my artist friends said it's Mauve. Okay, moving on. <laughs> These are from LA Girl. These are holographic lip gloss toppers. And I don't know why. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't. But they're very strong. <laughs> Let me just show you what they do here. This is the yellow and this is the pink. See what happens? They had a blue one too, but I don't go there. I just don't go there. Uh, if I was 20, I would go there, but look at this. It's just neon bright, neon bright. Um, they don't last a long time. I think if you're having a picture taken, you want to really impress people. <laughs> this is something that will definitely leave an impression. Uh, there were only, I think there was a clear, there was a blue, and then there was the pink and yellow. So the pink and yellow, very, very pretty out of the two. This pink one's dynamite over anything. It makes your lips just stand out like, whoa, really pretty. Okay, so that's the glosses. These are all of, these are three different metallic uh, lip, liquid lip. Let's see if I can do it on this side. I don't know if they're not that metallic, really. Let's put this one on here. They're so close in, in color range. It was just an odd color range here for these, but I liked them. I thought they were very pretty. So I have a brown, kind of a pinkish, and kind of a, I don't know, cool toned nude shade. It's Illuminate Champagne. Um, Smolder and Illuminate. Champagne, Smolder, and Illuminate. Sephora, this is the Rouge Cream Lip Stain, and this is metal. And these are, woo, bright. Hello, hello. They do stain your lips, it's a nice wear down with this. Uh, the bright, shiny part does not stay as long as I would like, but the, um, the wear down was very natural looking. So if you're feeling a little bit frisky, and I think these are coming in a set for their Christmas thing. I think they have this in that set, so it's definitely worth checking out. Um, I can't read the color. I think it's 112. I'll put it in the down bar there. And all the stuff that I'm talking about is listed below with a link so you can go look at it. You don't have to buy it. I don't get commission. Um, I do have magic links, which, you know, I will get like three, a, a third of a cent or something if you click on it to look at it. Um, that helps offset my costs, which, you know, 0 0.003 is definitely not going to offset the cost of these babies. 
So anyway, just so you know. This is the Wet n Wild Cat Suit, Liquid Cat Suits. Now these are very strong um, lip colors from Wet n Wild. They do last a long time. They are stains. They are true stains. And they do make your lips a little dry though, I'll have to say. These do. And this is the metallic. I think this is the newer one. This came out around Halloween time. I was going to talk about it around Halloween time, and I just didn't think I'd be as busy as I was at work. Um, this one is actually a very interesting color. It ships from orange to red, kind of an orangey color to red. It is a metallic kind of, I'm not, I'm not going to call it holographic, I'll just say it's a shifting color here. And that is... Um, See what color it is. Life's no pink nick. Life's life's no pink nick. So I do like them. Um, again, it's a thing where you have to find a shade that works really well for you. But they do last a long time. They are a little bit drying uh, over time, and you will see like the cracks in your lips with the lighter shades. I talked about this brand earlier, the Joa, like Noah with a J, Joa. This is a CVS K Beauty brand, and this is the Infinite Kiss Satin Liquid Lipstick, and I liked this. I thought this was very nice. I think it was $5.99. Let's just try it here. It's very pretty. I like this. Uh, there was a, somewhat of a candy scent, like a fruit candy scent to this. And of course, you know, their target audience is younger folks, I think. I don't think it's my generation. Um, but really cute. Cute packaging with a little bow on the top. Um, I think this was $5.99. It definitely was worth it. Sephora had their 20% off for the VIB Rouge. And I did renew my Rouge status, so I paid way too much money for makeup this year, and I have set myself up for rouge status in 2019. Um, I bought these because I do like this. This is the um, Hourglass Confession uh, Ultra Slim HD Lippy thing with this, the gold like cigarette holder thing that it comes in. And they also had refills available that cost less money, but you know what? It's not fun to have the refill without having this because you can take this off and see the idea is that you take this off and then you put the other one on and you use it, you know, the same way. It's like refillable. So this is your actual lipstick. There's not a whole lot of product in there. And then the the refills look like this. You can actually use the refills like they are without the gold holder. So I mean, don't think you can't use the refills. Like you can't just put this in your handbag. You can. Um, but this is cool. It clicks in and it turns up and you've got your beautiful lipstick, which this one. And this particular shade is called You Can Find Me. Very, very pretty, corally pink color. Really, really pretty. So that's what's in my holder presently. <laughs> I do like this. And it's just really elegant and nice, and the formulation's fabulous. Now the refill is called I Lust For. Let me just drop a few more things. I Lust For. And it has that same thing that you click into the thing, or you can just leave it in here. And I Lust For is more of a neutral nude color. You can see that. So I've got both covered. You could take both of these in, but honestly, you can just use this as your lipstick. You're going to lose it, but you can use it as your lipstick very easily. And this is one of the refills. I believe the refills are 22 and the other ones are much more expensive. 
This is the Click Rouge Melting Lipstick, and it's a clicking. You click it, and it clicks the color up. And this color is very, very bright. It looked different online, which you know, when you're trying to buy a lipstick online, it's a bomb and a lipstick. It's more of a bomb. <laughs> So and it clicks from the from the bottom slowly clicks it up. So I kind of like the idea of that. I think it's neat. Except I think in my bag this will keep clicking. If it gets hit against something, it might keep clicking, and then the it'll click it right up into the cap. That's the only danger I see with this style of uh, vessel melting lip clicks. And this color is called peach sorbet. Peach sorbet. Very pretty. Let me try it. Let me try it on over the top of Jeffrey. Why not? I have six cheek colors on. Let's just put three lip colors on. Very pretty. Warm color. I would say more summer, spring, but uh, awfully pretty. I, again, I don't like the clicky part. I'm not sure if this was on sale or not, but uh, the clicky thing makes me nervous in my purse because I'm just scared it's going to get banged into and click itself out of existence. <laughs> what I was wearing at the start of the show was this, and it's from CoverGirl. Um, it's the Melting Pout um, Holographic Lip Color. I may have talked about this in September, but I don't remember. And this goes over the top of any lipstick and gives it this kind of beautiful pinky purple sheen, metallic sheen. I wouldn't call it holographic. It's just a purpley pink sheen. It's very, very pretty. So that's what I was wearing at the beginning. So the camera stopped and I don't know exactly where. So let me just go back over. This is the trio from Stila and it is a supposedly in the nude it's called these are the three colors absolutely horrific on a medium to light skin fish belly white girl absolutely awful i look like a corpse and i wore this color with my witch costume on halloween it was awful these don't look as bad in the package as they do on so in the nude, yes, there's people who have skin shades like this, and they probably would like these, but it's certainly not for a light, light skin person like me. I just look dead. I look like a corpse. It was perfect for Halloween. <laughs> perfect. So Stila in the nude section, going back. It's going back. I love the ad campaign for this, the Clinique Dramatically Different Lipstick. Did you see that little ad campaign? It was a whole weaving line of all these beautiful colors. Is a beautiful looking lipstick that has a white balm inner, inner part to it. So when you open it up, it's a it's a lip balm and a color, and there's a, a white balm in the center here, and then the lipstick is around it. And I, it had such potential. It was like no color. The balm felt balmy. It felt sticky. And it didn't last at all. There was a lot of transfer. I was so disappointed. And I thought the color was going to be beautiful. But no. This is the color here. It looks like it would be great. It never dried down. It never lasted. It wore right off. First cup of coffee was gone. So I was very disappointed. Especially for the price point. Clinique failed me on this one. So this is going back. If I can still take it back, I think it's been five weeks. <laughs> it's just, I wanted to talk about this last month. But Clinique, dramatically different. A fail. This is Dior Attic Lip Glow. Um, another somewhat disappointing thing, and I think it was a shade thing, not so much the formulation. Um, yeah. Nothing. No color at all. This was just... A bare, bare, uh, sheer, they're not kidding, lip balm. It, it's, that's all it was, it's a balm. You might as well put chapsticks on. I did not see any color at all. Not even a hint of a color 
with this. And for the price point, Dior Addict um, Lip Glow didn't glow for me. Um, yeah, it was like chapsticks. It really was. Want to hear something I liked? <laughs> it's an oldie but a goodie. I actually had to replace it in my collection because I love it. This is NARS Audacious Lipstick in Apolline. Apolline? Apolline? I love their... Just love that. This is a pretty neutral wear to work all the time color. Beautiful. Apolline is the color. And if you ever see in the freebies that Sephora gives the little card that has the little sampler colors, this is usually in there. Try it because it's a surprising color on. It's very pretty, long lasting, and I love NARS lipsticks anyway. Everybody has different opinions about them, but I do like the Apolline is the color that I used. Morphe. This is a surprise. I'm, I've been trying a lot of Morphe, and I actually did order the James Charles um, uh, palette. It's on its way. I'll talk about it next time. Maybe on Thanksgiving I'll talk about it. This is Morphe's lipstick, and I think it's something that they are exceptionally good at, and it's very, very under-talked about. I mean, it's still underrated. This color is called Whipped. And again, this is another one of those. Look at that. It's a cooler tone version of my a cooler tone version of my NARS. It lasts really well. This is a cream. Um, the packaging is quite nice for Morphe. I think these are excellent. I love their lipsticks. I haven't had a bad experience with a Morphe lipstick yet. And I have had terrible experiences with their other products, i.e. their eye palettes and their blush palettes and their contour palettes and their concealer palettes. I have not had good luck with Morphe. And some of their brushes I like, but I, I think it's a product that if you get a lot of PR from them, you kiss up to them and say nice things about it. That's all I can think because I don't like them and I felt really bad and I noticed um, Emily Noel's palette is on sale now at Ulta so uh, you may want to, if, if you hadn't tried it, I didn't like it and I got a lot of shade for that um, but if you want to try it it's on sale right now so probably because they're just collabing with so many um, YouTubers now but James Charles is the newest so I'm going to give it this one last chance and then I'm not going to buy Morphe eyeshadow palettes ever again if this James Charles fails me um, because I get a kick out of him. I do. So Morphe lipsticks outstanding and this color is called Whipped. So that's it for me. I am going to be back in an hour or so with another video. It's going to be all about eyeshadow palettes and brow products and nails and a couple of gadgets. I think you're going to like it. So please stay with me. And again, I apologize for being off the air for so long. Thank you so much for your loyalty and for your time. Love you all. Have a wonderful week and have a beautiful day. See you in part two. Toodles.